Good morning and welcome to day five of Thunder Tales. I almost called it the Great Muffle Gross Adventure. <laughs> <coughs> welcome to Thunder Tales, June 2022, day five. And once again, the weather has changed. First it was horrendously dull, wet, horrible, torrential rain. Then it was basking wall-to-wall -wall blue skies and sunshine and hot temperatures. And today it just looks like there's no flood out there. So yeah, it's not a nice start to the day, hence why I'm in here. I'm also dressed, as you can see, because, um, well, surprisingly, somebody got up before me, you know? Uh, yeah. Would you believe that? Oh yeah. I went to bed last night and I completely and utterly crashed. Absolutely. Woke up um, and I thought, oh, okay, that was a good sleep. Walked through here and sitting there, drinking a tea, the crewmate was already up. This is unheard of. Unheard of people, you know. I must be losing my touch, you know. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we did have a very, very good evening yesterday. I mean, uh, like I say, I didn't really come back and there was a bit of a mess when I did come back. But, um, uh... We went out to the, we went for a wee worn wander around Lauden, you know. Um, um, what do you think of Lauden and the Rorschach? I never asked you that, did I? I think you did. But yeah, it was nice. Nice. Yeah. It's a nice wee village, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. River Shet? Yeah, it's alright. It's alright, mm. yeah. River Shet or River Ant? Well, I've probably done the Ant more than the Shet. Yeah. And You've never had the sun, Sunrise Cruise? No. No. Yeah, so I'd say ant at the moment. At, at the moment, okay. I'll need to get her down the river shape more often and get her doing that sunrise cruise, you know. Wake her up at four o'clock in the morning. Come on, come on! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but uh, we ended up at the White Horse at Chedgrave. Uh, and we only went in for, um, well, I went in for a pint and Prosecco just to look at the menu uh, and decide what, if we were going to eat there for dinner. Uh, we looked at the menu. The menu was really good though, wasn't mm. it? Really good. It was. Um, and uh, we decided we'd book a table. So we did. And we were just finishing um, our drinks and ready to set off back to the boat when the barmaid came over yeah. and said, Why do you want to leave? You really want another beer and prosecco? You know, stay here. You and the, you know, we got we were sitting in these big sort of comfy leather couches and opposite the fire, which wasn't lit obviously, um, but it was a really lovely wee sort of snug, if you like. And uh, well, long story short, was that this one ordered a la a proper large bottle of prosecco. I had a couple of pints, and we sat there all afternoon drinking in the pub then we had dinner which was amazing and uh yeah so by the time we got back to the boat it was uh, we were all <laughs> a wee bit tipsy shall i say you know but uh what did i have i um you had the portobello mushrooms the stuffed portobello mushrooms to start with and then you had the lamb shank yes Highly recommend, oh, by, by the yeah. looks of that lamb shank, it was just like... It fell off the bone. I, didn't, it was I just so had tender. to look at it and it dropped. Yeah. Literally. I mean, I obviously had a wee bite and it was just, oh, it mm. really was. Mm. I've, I've never really, I don't think I've ever had a lamb shank before, oh, but right. that was really... On mashed potatoes. On mashed potatoes. Some sugar snap peas, broccoli and cauliflower. Yeah. And a bit of gravy type stuff. I mean, it was yeah. bloody gorgeous. Yeah. I. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I had the, uh, the mussels in a cider aspel thing with bacon lardons yeah um it was actually okay it was actually okay um the i'm used to eating my mussels with um like a tomato based sauce or a cream based sauce um this was so it was a something a little bit different um 
they were okay uh, but I think I would have preferred a tomato based sauce or a cream based mm. sauce you know but I still enjoyed them and they were cooked to perfection um, and yeah thoroughly enjoyed it you even I had a muscle the, 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 the one person who doesn't really touch seafood never had a muscle but you actually tried a muscle I tried one I think you actually tried two I did actually yeah you know they were good nice <laughs> they were actually nice they it was too early for that by the way no, no. You know? <clears throat> um, yeah because I don't like things that are really really fishy so but I was pleasantly surprised I don't know if I could eat a lot of them because uh -huh. it is sort of fishy fish yeah but it, no it was it was actually really nice with the the bacon and the onion in it so yeah. but yeah I enjoyed it it was nice yeah but I'm glad I had my mushroom <laughs> yes yes your mushrooms I, th I think oh they were nice yeah if it had been, like I say, a tomato or a cream-based mm. sauce, I would have preferred my mussels. But in that side, of asphalt sort of yeah. sauce with the bacon, uh, I think I would have preferred the mushrooms. Yeah. Um, but, like I said, that doesn't detract from the fact that they were lovely. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. And then I had the leg of duck with mm. roast potatoes, a mass of vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli, um, um, what was the um, parsnips. Mm. Uh, that had little wee round things. I don't know. They weren't uh, cherries or blueberries or anything like that. But they had, yeah, yeah. Well, I ate them all. They were whatever they were. They were <laughs> just popped in your mouth and were just full of juice. Um, tomatoes. <laughs> sorry. Tomatoes. No, they weren't tomatoes. <laughs> Not like a pea sort of thing, you know. Like um, a, like I say, I, I don't know what they were. But uh, yeah, the duck was amazing. It was fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and much like the lamb shank, it just all fell off the bone. Yeah, you didn't have to worry, you know? did you? Um, so, yeah, I would... All week we've been having pretty much sort of your basic sort of pub food, if Scampy you like. Scampi and chips. Scampi and chips, burger lasagna, and chips, burgers, yeah. you know, fish and chips, you know. Um, and not that either of us have had fish and chips. Not yet, not yet, you know. <laughs> I, I usually like to have mm. a fish and chips at least once. But no, that was a nice but change. It was a proper, proper... Mm. And yet it doesn't... When you walk in, it just looks like a pub. Mm. See, that's the thing that that's quite sort of contradictory you walk in and it just looks like a and it, it, for all intents and purposes it is just a pub mm -hmm. but the menu and the food oh you know I, I would highly recommend it honestly if you have not been um, and you come down to Lodden okay uh, moor up at the stave okay and basically you walk to the main road and if you turn left, you go up into Lawdon, and there's a couple of places up there, and there's a co-op, and lots of takeaways, and a, there's a there's a, a, a Swan, mm. uh, the Swan restaurant is up there. Uh, that's actually quite nice as well. But when you walk to the main road, don't turn left, turn right. Follow the road round. It's about, what, five minutes, ten yeah, minutes? Not even that. Not even that. Mm. Ten minutes, you'll walk around the corner on the main road, and it's right there on the corner. The White Horse Ched Grave. Oh, you will not regret it. It is fantastic, you know. So highly recommend that, mm. you know, definitely. Right, however, um, obviously I am in here because it is chucking it down outside at the moment, although I think it might be easing off. Mm. So I'll maybe be able to get the cameras out. But um, the time is currently 10 to 8. And we are going to be looking to set off shortly. You know, We are probably going to be leaving a wee bit too early. Mm. Um, but uh, we have a few things we need to take care of. We need phone signals. And we need to an electricity post for tonight. Otherwise yes. somebody yeah. is going to be very upset for what's happening tonight, you know. Um, so, yes, uh, we need to get up there and find some way to get uh, an electricity post. Yep. Yeah. So, um, despite the fact that we should probably be leaving in... Uh, I'll say two an hour hours. An hour and a half, two hours. We should be leaving about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, we're going to head off now and hope that the viewer is not in full ebb when we get to Great Yarmouth. Because um, that's going to be fun and games if it is. I don't like doing that, you know. 
but and we're just going to have to punch against the tide on the way up mm. but it is what it is mm. you know, it might be a bit of a long slog but we'll get there eventually you know. so uh yeah so that's the plan so uh yeah uh like i said i'm just going to finish my cup of tea get myself organized and um i've obviously just thrown clothes on uh, so I'll see if I can get the cameras put outside and we're going to head off. Start our day and mm -hmm. we are going back north into the Northern Broads mm -hmm. and uh, basically Echo mm -hmm. is where we're going. You know, yeah. we've not been to Echo yet and today is the day for going to Echo, yep. I feel. Yeah. I feel as well. Yeah. <coughs> so I need my lasagna. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, as always though, I will keep you updated on the events of the day, so until later, I shall speak to you soon. So until then, bye! Bye! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, just a little wee update for you. Uh, that is us on the way. We have just literally left Lord and Stave. We are too early. I know we're, we're leaving way, way too early. Uh, the time is currently uh, about quarter past eight. Um, we shouldn't have really been thinking about leaving before half nine, ten. But we're leaving anyway. Um, like I say, we've got uh, a few things that need to attended to today and we need a better signal than what we've got where we are um, so we need to do that and we also um, up at Acol, um we are in desperate need of an electricity post um, one way or the other um, and basically for, for showers and hair and what have you not, not my hair because I don't have any hair you know I don't have that issue but you know, you know I've, I've got to look after the crew mate, you know, <laughs> got to make sure she's okay, you know, so um, yeah, uh, we are <coughs> heading on a, a wee bit early, I know it's going to be a lovely uh, cruise up the river Shet. I know it's going to be uh, a lot of fun, um, crossing Braden, um, I also know I'm going to be punching against a bugger of a tide, on the lower viewer, but um, it is what it is, you know. I've been, I've actually been quite good all week, you know, and I've been quite lucky, and I've just timed it to perfection. So, blowing a little fuel, you know, punching against the tide, it's nothing. And I'm not that much of a skin flint, you know. I might be Scottish, but I'm not that much of a skin flint, honestly. <laughs> I can blow a little fuel for my crewmate, you know, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, oh, and I am also burnt, by the way. Yes, um, it was a, a lovely day yesterday, um, and um, because I am uh, Scottish, you know, I'm, I'm I'm pale blue by by nature, you know. We're all pale blue up there, you know. So uh, yeah, when we get some nice weather, you know, even if it's just a little sun, you know, we just ding, just burn, you know. Just we we don't tan. We go from pale blue to white to burn you know like a, 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 a slab of bacon that's been under the grill for like a, three hours you know yeah so I'm a little burn definitely you know but uh, that's not a problem you know um, the rain has eased but it's changed um, and it's it's changed from that torrential rain into that really heavy, fine, drizzly stuff that just absolutely soaks you right through, uh, and it's really horrible. However, funnily enough, um, the sun is trying to come out, but you can't see it on camera because the camera's, yeah, there's nothing going on with the camera at all. It's just like a mass of, yeah. In fact, I may, uh, hold on a wee second. <coughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just putting the cameras off. There's no point in running them. Uh, you're just not seeing anything at all. Um, I had hoped it would ease off a wee bit and maybe I'd get lucky, but uh, no, that fine drizzle is just, yeah, it's, it's there's nothing there. So I'm just putting the, um, the, uh, the cameras off. So sorry about that, but uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, basically in short, uh, the weather today is miserable. Don't know how long this is going to be coming down, but uh, as long as it comes down, there's going to be no river footage again. Uh, but the sun is try it's trying to clear up a wee bit. I mean, the sun's trying to poke out. You know, it certainly feels like it's getting a bit brighter. So maybe it will ease off in the next hour or two, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll get some river footage then. But we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Um, so yeah. Um, we are just uh, heading up the, uh, the River Shet. We're going to go to um, Acol, um and uh, yeah, we are meeting somebody. Did, did I say this? Did, did I mention this? We are meeting somebody. Uh, hopefully a couple of people at Acol. 
um, and it's going to be quite a long night, you know, um, <coughs> and hopefully shots will not be involved. So I will leave that there, you know, if you know my videos, you know maybe who I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, we shall wait and see, you know. Um, either way, it's going to be a it's, it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good night, you know. I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. Crewmate is uh, she's awake. Um, she's a little bit grumpy, if I'm honest, which is why she's not sitting up here. She's just uh... <laughs> um, yeah, she, uh, cup of tea denied. By the way, you know, you know, like she she didn't tell me until I was on the river on the go. No, you just went, oh, cup of tea. Cup and of I'm tea. I'm like, what? And you went, please. I'm like, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away, you know. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, it, it's it's going to be a good, well, it's going to be a, a wet, miserable, horrible cruise to begin with. But, oh, wait. I'm babbling and procrastinating again. I've been doing that all morning. Yeah, you really have. I really have. Probably why I'm grumpy. Yeah, could be, could be. So, okay, so I'll go for now. I'll keep you updated on the events of the day. So, until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers! Okay, just a little wee update for you. I have a cup of tea! Woohoo! She actually took pity on me. I was being a wee bit moany, I must admit. <laughs> Best thing about having crewmates, definitely the fact that you can get a cup of tea on the go. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And even better, she's taken even greater pity on me and decided, you know, we're going to have a bacon sari, you know? So, <laughs> another wee plus bonus point there, you know? You can come away on the boat as much as you want, but if you do, you're on bacon saris and cups of tea duty. <laughs> uh, so, uh, that being said, and joking aside, um, we are continuing up the river shed. We're actually almost at the end of the river shed. Um, and I must admit, you know, it's just, it's, uh, I know, it's, a, it's I don't want to be going on too much about her, but you know, it's, it's, it's not so much I'm going on about the weather. I'm going on about how annoying it is. I can't actually, switch the cameras on and get river footage. I tried that when I left um, uh, the, the stay this morning and it was fine until it got moving a wee bit and then that drizzle started coming down hard and then it just like totally blanked out the, the lens and you couldn't see anything and you know it's not like you know you know when you get heavy rain you know you'll maybe get a raindrop but another raindrop will hit it and move it out of the way and it might be a wee bit annoying for a little bit, for a few seconds, but then the lens will clear and you still get the footage. This drizzly stuff, it just sticks and clings and it's just, it just yeah, it's just horrible. It really is horrible, so yeah. Still no river footage, which is really annoying. Um, not that it's very pretty at the moment, um, but um, yeah. Uh, but yes, we are going, continuing up the uh, river Shet and uh, uh, I, I do like getting this, these wee pushes. I mean, I, I have said is that especially in these um, difficult financial times, financial times would you say? Is it financial? Uh, especially at these times when everything is so ludicrously expensive, you know? Uh, I mean, food's expensive, the gas bills, the electricity bills, you know? petrol, diesel, you know, and as a side note, that obviously includes the diesel you put in your boat. Now, putting your boat, diesel in your boat should be a little bit cheaper because there's a, um, a, a, a there's a, an allowance if you like, you know, I think it's 90, is it 70%, 80%, standard diesel and 20% red diesel, something like that, you know, but it should be a little bit cheaper, you know, to fill up your bowl, 
at uh, at a marina because you are permitted a, a slight tax break on it if you like, you know. Um, however, even that is getting ludicrously expensive and there was talk, I don't actually know if it's still that or if there, there was talk of stopping the whole red diesel thing altogether and you were basically paying full price. Um, I don't think that's happened yet, but I don't, there was talk about it for a, for a while, you know. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, I don't know a lot about the politics and the ins and outs, I must admit. I just go to Bolters in Horning because I do know they're one of the cheapest for the diesels and pump outs. Um, and uh, I just basically say fill up and I pay the bill. Um, but last time I was there in March, um, that was a bit of a shock by the way because they were up to, I mean, when I first started going there, they were like something ludicrous, like 90, 95 pence a litre or something like that, you know? But when I went there in March, I think they shot up to something like 155, you know? Um, so yeah, big jump um, from December. <coughs> I mean, it, it wasn't 95 pence a litre in December, you know, but when I started going to Bolter, they were about that. Then it went up a wee bit, and I don't know what December was, um, but it wasn't 155 a litre, it was certainly not. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely got a bit of a shock when I um, filled up my tank, and I was just like, oh my god, really? <laughs> you know? Um, and all these hire yards that say, you know, oh, you know, you get your money back, you know, you pay your fuel deposit, you get your money back, you know, and it's just like, well, not anymore, just now, you know? And and the thing was, there, there was a bit of a hullabaloo, actually, a while ago, because um, some of the, uh, the the high yards turn, uh, were changing to an exclusive um, um, price system, making it nice and easy. So the price you paid, you saw, is a price you paid, you know? I mean, some, some when you hire a boat, you know, you pay, for the hire of the boat, then you pay your damage waiver on top of it, then you pay your um, fuel deposit, which if is less when you go back to the yard, you usually get that, you know, the, the difference refunded to you. But a lot of these places, well, some of the yards change to a, a, a C, you know, one price is what that covers it all. So um, it makes it easier and Basically, they were saying, and you get a free tank of fuel as well, you know. But you, so, so it's just like, say for example, you know, you, you're going to a higher yard, it would be like £500 for the boat, you know, uh, £40 for the damage waiver, and £150 um, or £160 um, for your fuel deposit. So you think it's £500, but you actually end up paying £700, but at the end of the holiday, if you've only used um, £60 of your fuel, you've got £100 back. Then they change to this sort of one price, if you like. So it would be like, uh, okay, I like that boat, it's £650, and that includes your damage waiver and a free tank of fuel. And some of them were like, um, some people were like, oh, oh, well, oh, I don't like about that because I mean, I'm not going to use a full tank of fuel on my holiday. So I'm paying for this, you know, but I'm getting no money back at the end of the holiday, basically, you know, you're paying for the boat and you're getting no money back at the end of the holiday when you top up the fuel tanks. Okay, I can see that. I, I, I can see what, what they're saying, but the way the price of things are going at the moment, I mean, you know, you could go on a, 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 a four day short break and spend £160 worth of fuel very easily, you know, not because you're doing a lot of cruising, but just because the sheer cost of fuel at the moment, you know, so, okay, you're getting a free tank of fuel, but in the old system, you definitely have be having to pay, pay extra when you went back because if you, you know, if you paid the 460 pound worth of fuel, you came back and the current cost of fuel 
um, was uh, £200, that's an extra £40 you have to, and I think nowadays with the cost of fuel, you'd be doing that a lot more, you know, as opposed to getting refunds just because of the sheer cost of fuel. Now, maybe I'm babbling, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, and maybe I'm just like talking rubbish, complete, and, and you know, um, oh, thank you very much. Ah, make it sandwich. That was awfully very quick, you know. Um, and you'd be absolutely right. I don't know. Um, <coughs> these are just thoughts running through my head, you know. But I don't know the actual situation. I don't know the actual politics of it, and I don't know ex exactly how the hire yards do things nowadays. You know, it's been a, quite a week while since I hired a boat, you know. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, but that is my thoughts while the current financial energy cost of living slash whatever is going on currently this year so yeah um, maybe it's better from a hiring point of view that you do pay that one price you know and because that way you're not needing to fork out extra because of the sheer cost of fuel um, even if you don't do much cruising or you know or if you do a lot of cruising then you're not getting hit with a big bill when you come back you know under the old system so anyway by the by i'm talking rubbish i'm almost at the end of the river ant river shit. ant river shit get my rivers right russell um almost at the end of the river shit i will so shortly be joining the river year heading towards redum it's still drizzling that horrible stuff, so there's still no river footage. I'm going to go in and have my bacon sarnie, and I shall keep you updated, and I'll speak to you soon. So until then, bye for now. Cheers! Okay, just a little wee update, and yes, you have a different camera angle, indeed. And the first mate is back up with us. Um, we are continuing up the we're joined onto the river uh, year. I enjoyed my bacon sandwich very much, and uh, thank you very much. I uh, um, appreciate you taking sympathy on me and making me a bacon sandwich. You should. <laughs> and uh, yes, we passed Redum, and we are now um, past Redum, and where the new cut was in front of us, we took the left fork, and we are continuing up towards Braden. Weather still dull, misty, crap, horrible, yeah, whatever. Although the drizzle does seem to be dying down quite a wee bit, so maybe we'll get them river footage going out. However, the reason I'm holding you, okay, is because obviously my last um, talky wee bit, um, you probably think he doesn't know what he's talking about, and I admitted that. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to fuel and hires and what have you, okay? It was just, it was just thoughts running through my head, and we all know my logic scary. is... Scary. Very scary sometimes, totally. Like, what? What? Really? How do you get that? You know, it doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense, you just have to get into Russell's logic, you know? Nobody <laughs> wants to get into your head. <laughs> Um, anyway, but although I might not know about that, I do have a little admiral's tip for you, okay? And if you hire, you might be, you might have encountered this issue. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to spin you around. Right, that is currently my view. I don't know if this is going to work or come out on, on, on the, um, video but that is currently my view out the window okay now it looks okay on camera okay uh, it actually does look okay on camera so I don't know if this is gonna work at all but in real life it's it's not so much in front of here it's, it's more out the side there you know it's, it's difficult especially when you get all that drizzly stuff okay coming down um, and it's horrible and you can't really see out here or, or over there I mean it's I mean you can see there I mean it's really difficult to see out uh, the banks on the other side on um, over there um, and the reason for that is this the white gel coat okay because basically what happens and it, it happens specifically 
um, when uh, during this uh, sunny weather um, the sun reflects off this off the window and you just get um, basically a white reflection all across the window and during sunny weather or this horrible weather it actually makes it very very difficult to see out of you know because of the reflection but don't worry because I have a fix for you okay all you need is something like this okay it's basically I mean it could be a dark towel or a black um, scarf I mean this is just a dark blue scarf okay um, and what I do is I put that up here okay uh, first mate would you care to do the honors please put that up there okay and just watch what happens is this going to happen it doesn't work on camera <laughs> oh no you can just about see you can just see the difference over there you know that's without it I'm just trying to pay attention to where I'm going Russell while I'm trying to do this you can just see that's without the scarf and that's with the scarf on there okay but basically it stops the reflection and it it makes it a lot easier to see out the window because you're not getting the reflection from the gel coat so uh yes it's a wee handy hint and i know it's not really showing up on the camera very well i mean you can just you can just about see the outline just over there um of where the scarf is sitting but it it does make a, a massive difference to what you see and when you've got sunny weather or really horrible weather that can that's a godsend doing something like that simple as that is a godsend so if you're ever coming down bring yourself a wee just a, a, a big sort of dark colored scarf or a, 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 um, a towel or a dish towel or something something dark colored put it up there and your vision will be massively massively improved and that ladies and gentlemen is a little admiral's tip for you okay i'm just going to stick you back up there in your usual space so i can actually concentrate better on where i'm going but yes yeah, so i highly recommend that if you're coming along uh away on a on a higher boat um bring yourself a dark colored towel or something like that and uh, if you feel your vision is impaired because of the, the reflection just whack it up there and bang it's completely clear you know makes a huge difference yes 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 she's not very enthusiastic this morning at all <laughs> but yeah yeah uh, uh, it's either it's either too much for Shesco last night okay or She's not had enough Prosecco this morning. <laughs> you know how to head on a dog yet. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so um, that was my little wee, wee tip. So I might not know what I'm talking about when it comes to hiring boats or about the fuel or uh, finances or money, but I do know how to make your vision better when cruising down the rivers. That I do know. And it doesn't, sh it didn't really come out on video, but it does work brilliantly in real life. So, yeah, always try to remember that. Anyway, that's my little babble uh, for the moment. We are just, I don't think we're at Bernie Arms, no. Uh, we are, uh, well, we're passing the, the, the drainage mill. So, uh, we're about halfway up this, uh, this sort of uh, spa of the River Wave, uh, River Year so we will be very soon um weatherman's way i think we're at or well, i think it's actually called weatherman's way anyway um we will very soon be hitting braid and water we are getting a lovely push up this river which is good um so yeah it will not be long now before we are at braid and water and we'll be shooting across braid and water and into the northern roads and we will see what state the river Bure is when we get to Yarmouth and uh, that could be interesting you know hopefully um, 
the drizzle will continue to ease off like it is at the moment and we will actually catch that footage um, at Great Yarmouth, hopefully, with luck. We'll wait and see. Anyway, babbling enough, I will speak to you soon, I will keep you updated, so until later, bye for now, cheers! Dull, isn't it? Wow. Uh, okay, just a, a little wee update for you. Yeah, I've got the light on, but it's actually got quite dull <laughs> out, out there. Um, and uh, yeah, the drizzle's coming back down again. It was easing off, but typical, I hit braid and water and it starts coming down, you know. Which reminds me, I'm back because we're on braid and water. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, it's uh, uh well what can i say there's anybody that's done this particular stretch of the cruise from north to south or vice versa knows what it's like down here and it's bad enough when it's uh lovely weather but when it's miserable and gray and horrible it's just such a slog uh because there's, there's nothing really that pretty about it at all absolutely not <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, we are on brain water. We are making, um, we're making good time actually. You know, I think we're gonna get to Great Yarmouth probably by about quarter past 10. So that's um, pretty much um, uh, two hours since we left Lorden. So two hours from Lorden up to Great Yarmouth with a following tide. I can do that. I can do that, you know, it would, just, it would just be nice if this bloody rain would stop, you know, or if it would stop drizzling and start properly raining, because I really don't like that drizzle stuff. Ah oh, man. But yes, um, hopefully we won't be very far away from Great Yarmouth now. We will, it looks like there's about 10 feet, give or take, under the bridges. I took the, uh, I looked at the marker post at um, Burning Arms. So we should be able to slip under the bridges, no problems, uh, with the screens up. And yeah, it'll just be a um, good old slog up the, the view from there. So, uh, ah, but um, yeah. And uh, yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you enjoy braiding water as much as I do? Or is it just... Uh, just another piece of water. Just another piece of water, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't get excited about the fact you're actually doing nine miles an hour. <laughs> no. <laughs> I suppose it's fast when you're used to doing three, four or five. Yeah. Or six. Yeah. You know, look out the back and, and you've got that yeah. big bloody, you know, wash at the back there. Yeah. It's like, wow. <clears throat> but, um, you've not actually done a proper rough crossing upgrade yet, have you? No. No. I must admit, it's been a long time since I've done a proper rough crossing on and yeah, I'm needing to do a rough crossing If you only knew the power of the dark side. Bugger me! Ah, uh, yeah. You know babies do that. Sorry? You know babies do that when they get a fry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I... What was it? I totally lost my train of thought there. Um, uh, rough rough, rough, crossing. Rough, yes, yes, I'm, I'm need to do. Uh, uh, I would like to do another rough crossing or plate sometime soon, you know. I'm not sure you would like it. You'd probably start freaking out a little bit, you know, when the water starts coming over the bow. And <laughs> We're we gonna sink! We're gonna sink! Another Titanic! What was the whole Titanic thing? That was in March, wasn't it? That was yeah, it was really oh, mud waiting. Mud waiting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, climbing up the boat as it's slowly sinking. Yeah. You've got uh, a jump. No. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so um, like I say, everything's going uh, good. Um, the drizzle is still coming down. The sun, ironically, is also trying to come out. But it just peeks its head out to tease us. And then it goes away again, and then the drizzle starts coming down harder. And it's just like, oh man. So yeah, but that is what it is. So uh, maybe if the drizzle stays off just a, just if it stays like this, I might actually get some footage of Great Yarmouth. Although you can see in the distance there, that's 
not exactly clear weather, is it? That's looking pretty wet. Black, actually. So, yeah, we'll wait and see. Anyway, sorry, it looks like it's going to be a, a day two of uh, nothing but a talkie vloggy. Oh. A vloggy talkie. Talkie vloggy, whatever. A vloggy vlog. So, uh, yeah, but we'll see what. Can't control the weather, unfortunately, you know. Um, but I will go for now. I will keep you updated. Um, it's not going to be very long before we um, cross into Great Yarmouth, and uh, after that, it's only a couple of hours, so it should be fun and games. You know? So uh, I'll keep you updated. So until later, bye for now. Cheers.
Okay, just a little wee update. Oh, can you, can you see me? Oh, we've got still a wee bit dull there, you know, but uh, hey, you know, some would say it's probably a good thing that you can't see me. <laughs> Don't say it. Be nice. Be nice. Uh, okay, uh, just a little wee update for you. One, the rain has stopped. Two, the drizzle has stopped. Three, it's actually quite mild out there. Um, so yeah, I actually got footage going under the bridges at Great Yarmouth, which can only mean I am on the River Viewer and back in the Northern Broads once again. And uh, I quite enjoyed my wee stint, you know, at Great Yarmouth for two days down south. I, I did enjoy that. Lovely. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's just a bit of a shame that the weather, well, hopefully the weather's going to. Um, uh, gradually improve throughout the rest of the day now, hopefully, you know, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get um, uh, not too long before we get up to um, Acle. Acle, ah, because that is where we're going, isn't it? Yes, we're going to Acle. And what did I say? It's usually about two hours, give yeah. or take, yeah. So it's currently, it's about 10.35. So that was a total of about, give or take, near as damn it, two and a half hours mm. to go from Lawdon to Great Yarmouth. Um, and um, I think it might take us a wee bit longer to go uh, because we're punching against the tide, but it's not that strong a tide, thankfully. Um, all the way up to Acol, so uh, even if it's two and a half hours, that'll still be about, what, one o'clock? Yeah. That's actually not too bad, is it? No. And as long as we get an electricity post, we're fine. Mm -hmm. If we get an electricity post, you're fine. If I get an electricity post, I'm fine. Because if we don't, then oh my god, I'm never going to hear it, am I? Nope. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear, you know. Um, but uh, yes, well, we, we will wait and see, you know. Um, hopefully um, it's not going to be, I mean, I don't know how busy the Northern Broads are, actually. Um, uh, certainly down south, I was actually surprised. I mean, there were spaces at Great Yarmouth, spaces at Beckles. Okay, Lorden stayed as expected, full this morning, but um, there were still spaces around the corner on the side on moorings, on the free moorings, on the side on moorings a bit further up the river. So, yeah. Um, and uh, we've hardly seen, we've seen what? Uh, half a dozen boats yeah, on our journey this morning. Yeah. You know? So, uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we are heading up. I'm, I'm going to talk about that woman in uh, Great Yarmouth. Oh, the boat. The boat. Yeah. I don't know. I, th I saw something, and I must admit, I'm not entirely sure. Now, I'm not going to name and shame. I, I, I don't do that. Well. Sometimes I do, but I'm not going to do that this time. Um, but I'm not entirely sure I was quite happy with what they were doing. Okay. Um, it was clear that the lady had mobility issues. Okay. And it was clear that they wanted to moor a Great Yarmouth. Now, you know the tides are like a Great Yarmouth, you know. They fluctuate greatly, you know. You can step off to begin with, no problems, and then the tide goes out and the boat drops quite a bit, you know. Um, so how did they get around this? They moored deliberately next to the escape ladder. And obviously they were then using the escape ladder to get on and off the boat. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if, pers personally speaking, I'm not sure if I'm happy about that, you know, um, because it's called an escape ladder for a reason. Now, I understand the lady or the gentle or whoever it is has mobility issues, and I understand that, you know, you can't discriminate, fair enough, okay, but You shouldn't really be moving next to an escape ladder, you 
going up and blocking the ladders just to make life easier for yourself to get on and off the boat. You know, if you have difficulty getting on and off the boat at say Great Yarmouth, then you probably shouldn't be mooring at Great Yarmouth, you know? Um, I think that's going to be a bit of a boring contention and I think a lot of people are going to have a few words and, you know, it might be uh, but that's my own personal thoughts I honestly do not think that they should have moored an extra escape ladder because if somebody falls in it's the ladders that can help them get out you know, and with the tide flowing as fast as it does through there you know yeah, you know so yeah I'm not going to say, I'm not going to criticise her and I'm not going to um, wave, wave my finger at her or anything like that, or at them I should say, you know, I just don't think that they should have done that because as far as I am aware you should always leave the escape ladders free and you should never move it in front of them. Personal opinion? Yes. That's what it is, but um, yeah, I just came across that and I just, I, I, I wasn't happy when, when I saw what was going on, just like, mm, you know, don't like that. Anyway, that's beside the point, um, we are continuing up the River Viewer, we're just leaving Great Yarmouth and we will just uh, continue on up and get to Acol when we can and hopefully, um, my uh, testicles will remain intact and I will be able to find myself our electricity post. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And you think I'm joking? I'm really not. You know, she's been sharpening her nails all morning. <laughs> See if we don't get one. See if we don't get one, you know? So, yeah, we'll wait and see. Hey. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to continue up the river. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we have seen the last of the rain and we'll see what happens so uh, I'll keep you informed though so until later bye for now cheers okay just a little wee update for you as you can see we are moored up but it is only temporarily and is only for um, a, a, a quick short uh, 10 15 minutes something like that we're actually at a scare gap it's called it's um it's a safety ma uh, mooring. You're not actually allowed to moor here overnight. Um, we're still on the lower river Bure, so we're not that far away from Great Yarmouth. Um, and like I say, this is not an overnight mooring. This is a, a safety mooring for demasting or emergencies only. Now, obviously, we're moored here. Um, it's not a major emergency, but. Um, Susan is making to make uh, needing to make quite an important phone call today. This is one reason why we actually left so early because we couldn't get a signal down in Lorden, and uh, she needed a, uh, a signal for a phone, which is why we left to come to Great Yarmouth. Um, and uh, I knew we wouldn't make a call before she had to make the phone call, but okay, you probably we probably shouldn't do it. I admit, but we've pulled over. Um, for about, like I say, 10-15 minutes just so she can get a signal make the phone call without the noise of the engine going on in the background um, nice and quiet in there and uh, then once the phone call's done we'll um, fire up and leave straight away uh, and obviously, naturally of course just in case anybody wants to say anything if somebody comes down that needs to demast or it's an emergency vehicle or whatever um, an emergency that they need to moor up quickly yes of course we will depart straight away regardless um, but like i say right now there's not a problem nobody's here there's not uh nobody's using it so just for the sake of 15 minutes we've moored up here switched the engine off just so that she can uh make her important phone call um, and yeah I mean when we moored up we got hit by a very heavy shower um, but uh, it lasted about well, about 30 seconds actually and uh, 
went off and the sun's out, you know? And uh, oh, it's lovely. It's, it's actually, I mean, it's actually quite mild. It's actually, well, mild, hot. I would actually say it's possibly getting quite hot as well. Uh, we're looking at about 17 degrees in that sun. And uh, yeah, oh, lovely. It's actually a lovely day. If it hadn't been for all that rain and Oh, that was so miserable this morning, you know, just uh, all that drizzle. I mean, if it had been proper torrential rain, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have bothered me, you know, because it just it's, gets you soaking, but it also, because it's heavy droplets, it just sort of clears, you know, because the droplets are so heavy, and they bump into another, and they just fall down. But that fine drizzle, I mean, it just soaks you right through, and when you get it, I mean, it just sticks to the windscreen, sticks to the camera lens, and it's just, oh, just hopeless, hopeless. So, uh, yeah. But I have managed to get a lot, a, a little footage coming under the bridges, I think. Um, and obviously when I left Lauren. But, uh, yeah, just now. Ah, so, that's the update so far. We have stopped over for a quick 15-minute uh, pit stop um, uh, on the way. We shouldn't be too far away from Aiko, but like I say, we just couldn't, we couldn't even make Stracy Arms uh, before she needed to make the, uh, the, the phone call. So uh, yeah, that's why we pulled in here, switched off the engine, given a piece to uh, be able to do that. So yeah. So I'm going to go away, make us a cup of tea, and uh, as soon as uh, she's finished uh, with her bits and pieces, set off once again. So. That's the update. I'll keep you updated on the events of the day. So until later, I'll speak to you soon. Until then, bye for now. Cheers! Okay, just a little wee update for you. That's me back on the way. Like I said, it literally was uh, just a wee sort of 15 minute layover 
for um, a quick important telephone call but without the noise of the engine buzzing around in the background and everything like that like I say it was an important telephone call and um, she didn't want um, uh, lots of noise and distraction going on around us and you know what it's like you know we're punching against a viewer um, um, well we're going up the viewer punching against the tides so that yeah you have got quite a lot of revs on just to sort of even do five miles an hour or so so uh, yeah it's not good it's not good um, so we are continuing up the uh, river um, and uh, yes um, it's it's all good actually you know um, the sun is trying to come out um, and when it's out my god it's hot you know but there's still a lot of cloud around and it's still quite threatening with a lot of rain so I think it's just going to be one of these showery days you know but we'll wait and see what it is we'll wait and see you know um, but yeah everything's going good and it's um, spot on and uh, next stop will be Eco. the time currently is about 11 40 so we were actually hmm, we we're probably there a bit more than 15 minutes we're probably there about a total of half an hour in total um, but like I said earlier um, uh, I did keep an eye I was aware that it was I uh, shouldn't really be moored there but I was keeping an eye for anybody that did require those moorings and the minute something came down that would have required the moorings I would have important phone call or not I would have fired up the engine and vacated them but at the moment for brief we well as it turned out half hour it was not a problem you know just to uh, peace of mind I, th I think it was all just peace of mind because you know what it's like you know when somebody makes a when somebody needs to when you need to make an important phone call you know and sometimes you just need that quiet to think and talk and what have you you know so yeah everything's good though so we are heading up the river I don't know how fast we're going but we're only doing 2,000 revs and uh, yes we're not gonna be going very fast but Perhaps, you know, it's maybe better just to just kick back and relax, you know, no, no point in burning a lot of fuel, I suppose, um, to just go half a mile an hour faster, you know, um, just for the sake of, you know, arriving there 15 minutes earlier, you know, just take it easy and just relax and just doddle on up the river, you know, probably the best way to do it, so, so yeah. Uh, so everything is going good, everything is going splendidly, all is well uh, with the world and so far you know it's, uh, it's actually it's actually quite bright you know it's <laughs> so yeah I do like my wee baseball cap by the way I you know? um, got it in March you know how just like yeah <laughs> I've, already, I've actually got quite a lot of t-shirts as well that I'm meant to be using um, uh, wearing uh, this week but um, I've only really worn a couple of them um, so I will have to get the others out and worn at some point you know definitely but uh, yeah uh, they are very good t-shirts by the way wait till you see them you know <laughs> well yeah so all is going well everything is going swimmingly we are um, enjoying our little um, cruise up the river viewer um, first mate is happy that she's done uh, in her little phone call and she's now away to um, take care of our other bits and pieces and, uh, I think she's planning on having a shower and everything like that you know which is something I'll need to do but I'll get up at Hakel and do that get change and everything but yeah everything's going good so uh, we are doddling up the river as I have already said uh, too many times um, and uh, yeah hopefully it will not be too much longer before we arrive there you know. so in the meantime we will um, keep on going I will keep you updated and um, basically um, as soon as I've got something more to update you with I shall update you so until later bye for now cheers <laughs>
little wee update for you. And, I've um, had wine. Yes, 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 <laughs> she has had wine. She she decimated her wine. Well, I, I'm, well, I'm, 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 on, I'm honestly not had that much, you know. I've only had a few swipes, but I'm taking my time with her. You know, so. You wouldn't think he was Scottish, would you? If it wasn't for the accent, you'd be like, what? <laughs> I'm being sensible. This one doesn't give a hell. Toot. Whatever. You know? Bugger. I'm on holiday. <laughs> exactly. And I would just like to say, um, hello, Andrea. Andrea. And Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. Andrea. Um, we were just past Tracy Arms there. And... Um, uh, obviously there was a whole boat started Wah! Hiya! How you doing? You know? So uh, yes, um, didn't recognise but uh, gave me a, a, a... Eventually it clicked who was waving at me So uh, yes, um, we might meet up with them for a few drinks later Maybe, you mm -hmm. know? Um, God help us Yep um, But um, Or is it God help her? When you no, start. I think it's God help us. You think? Believe it or not, I can't actually handle that much alcohol. I know everybody's going to be going, die right, by the way, but actually it's true. Have you not noticed? <laughs> Pretty much a bottle of Prosecco is, well, uh, maybe even occasionally one and a half bottles, and that's your absolute limit. Yeah. Yeah. Do not go over that because even if you feel okay, for one more little one, every single time it puts you over and you end up ill. Mm. So, yeah. Um, however, uh, so yeah, hello, and Andrea. 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 Yay, said it right. <laughs> um, she shouted across. She shouted, because he went, and what do you call her? Andrea. Andrea. And I'm like, she went, Andrea! <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Told you. So uh, yes, um, hello. Um, and if you are around Acre, I will have a little uh, later with you. Uh, it'll we'll be totally quite take the mic out of him for his yes, pronunciation yes, can, of your name. You can take totally take the mickey out of me. But uh, yes, yeah, so that means that we're just past Tracy Arms, which means we are not very far away from Stokes Bay, and after that into Acre, and we can only hope that there is space. There'll be space, but I want electricity. electricity. I need it. However, My hair needs doing. Yeah. Today. However, we found an uber long oh, cable. Yes. Yeah. Now I knew it was there, but I keep forgetting about it because I just, you know, I moved up. I keep a standard cable in the back bedroom, and I, when I plug into electricity, I take it out of the back cupboard and I plug it in and use it. You know. But when we're at Beckles, I needed it was too short, and I was just like. I've got a really lot and it was the first time I'd actually laid it out and it's huge. So that means that we don't actually need to get right beside the electricity points at got like a eyelash that's just sticking right out. It's bugging the crap out of it. I probably need a trouble. Yeah, I think so. Sorry. That's alright. So uh, yes. <coughs> Hopefully, we'll get an, an opportunity to get an electricity post at the Acre. I'm kind of hoping that um, anybody there at lunchtime will move on after lunch. Um, we're just going to wait and see whether it is outside the bridge, which would be ideal, or whether it's the um, three moorings on the other side of the bridge. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. But we'll go wait and see. We'll, we'll figure it out. We don't need to be right outside the pub. No, I know. Oh. But we'll figure it out. Um, but yes, basically, long story short, that is us left Stracy. Um, and we're not far away from Stokes Bay. And everything's going good. The rain is finally off. The it's sun bursting. is still trying to come out. But oh my god, it is, it's really it's quite warm. It's definitely quite warm. They're going so, a bit fast, aren't they? Well, you know. Um, Maybe the, the tide's turned, and maybe we're getting out. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, no, I on. think... Hold on one second. Try to be Because if I was doing four point... I was <coughs> I think it's pretty much slack down up, no, up here say, at the moment. 
doesn't feel like I'm being pushed along. Or hindered. Or hindered. Just pretty much. Yeah, it's just swag. So, yeah, um, we're going off on a tangent. Are you really we still? No, I love doing that too. <coughs> it's too easy. It really is. It really is. You know? Like you ming the merciless eyebrows at the moment. Yeah, uh, I really am. Yeah. I, I would I would do a Flash Gordon quote if I could remember one offhand, you know, from Ming, but, you know. Flash! Flash! I love you, but we only have 14 hours to save the Earth! I was just like, really? <laughs> Flash! Ah! <laughs> right, we're not going to do that anyway. <laughs> Definitely not. So, yes, uh, everything's going good. Um, we are enjoying our little cruise. We've had some chocolate. We've had some wine. Oh, by the way, that I had a whisper that I bought. When did we? We bought them whenever. Sunday or something. Saturday. Saturday. No, we bought, Sunday. No, we bought them Saturday. We bought them from Stokesby. It's where we stayed Saturday night. Oh, yes. Yeah, so so right. we bought them on Saturday. What's it today? Wednesday. Just had my whisper. I tell you what, that hit the spot. I don't put my chocolate in the fridge. I do not like cold chocolate oh. and if it is in the fridge it has to come out two days before hence why I took it out two days before and ate it today and oh I just needed that you know it just I can't tell you how much I don't eat chocolate that often believe it or not but, but when you get a craving my oh, god yeah. you get a I was craving really in the really mood for that yeah. and that was just it was just it was just spot on. Oh, spot it on. just melted and it was like, ooh, chocolatey flavour in my mouth. I looked at it. was like, I have died and gone to heaven here because I'm having a chocolatey moment all on my own. Don't even say it, Russell, because I know what you're going to say. Don't I, go there. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. You know, <coughs> this is a uh, um, um, pretty dark size. So, yes, we're, we're keeping it sensible and safe and, yes. you know, clean. Clean. Very, uh -huh. very clean. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, that's my phone. <coughs> right, for a change. We are, yeah, for a change. Right. Uh, we are going to go. I can see Stokesby in front of us, so that means that um, probably next time I speak to you, it will be from a, a cult. Whether we are moored up um, at outside the bridge in or moored out up outside the three moorings. However. If the whole vlog now comes to a crashing and tumultuous end, suddenly, for no reason, it will mean that I was unable to hook up to an electricity post and she died. Yeah, basically, she's thrown me overboard in disgust um, after um, causing me grievous bodily harm. You know, so yeah. Um, so here's hoping you actually get to speak to me very shortly. <laughs> find out stay tuned so in the meantime i'll speak to you soon and uh yeah until then bye for now cheers Nothing's ever two minutes from me. I do two minute vlogs. You know? <laughs> okay, just a quick wee two minute update. We'll see. <laughs> right, um, that is us basically just arriving at Acol. I can see the roof of the bridge in and I'm a couple of bends away and I thought I'd just come back 
just to say a uh, hi, just in case um, this is the last time I find myself breathing um, on land and not underwater. Um, so uh, yeah, we've actually had a nice wee cruise up the river and it's been, it's been lovely. But I mean, now that the sun's out, it's actually quite really warm, isn't it? It is it? really warm. You know? So uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we will hopefully get moored up at Acol and uh, then we can get um, showers and dressed and what have you because I never told you what's happening tonight, okay? Basically, we're going to Acol and we are meeting up with, hopefully, it's going to be Robin and Sheila tonight and we are meeting up with them tonight to celebrate Robin's birthday. That's right. That, that gentleman, number one celebrity of the broads, had his birthday a day or two ago. Well, it was actually yesterday. Um, and uh, <coughs> he knows I'm about. So um, yeah, basically uh, uh, he's coming down um, for a little uh, birthday celebration. And uh, we're gonna meet up, we're gonna have some good times, we're gonna have some good beer, hopefully a nice dinner. And uh, yeah, we'll wait and see. But uh, I think the, the alcohol will definitely flow tonight. Definitely, and we all know from was it December that um, Robin can drink. So I, I actually fear for my hangover tomorrow morning because I think I could be very, very hungover tomorrow. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. You know, I'll be a, I'll be an alcoholic poison wreck by the time tomorrow will come. You know, but I know where the bucket is. He'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably be need me that needs the bucket this time as mm -hmm. opposed to you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, that's just a quick wee two minute update. Um, so I am going to go away just now. I'm going to put the life jackets on and we are going to uh, get ourselves into a call, hopefully on an electricity post at some point and I will pop back and uh, we'll have a wee word when I get there. So yeah, almost there and um, yeah. Thankfully, the rain has off. Uh, the rain has stopped, and it's turned into a lovely cruise. You know? So, yeah. Anyway, I'm babbling. This is one minute. This is a three-minute vlog. So, until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye, Bye for now. Cheers. <laughs> See, I can do a two-minute vlog. Three. Well, three minutes. You know, two minutes, three minutes. I mean, are you really going to be about a minute? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Well, Precise. I suppose it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're very good. Can I switch it off now? Yeah. Okay. Bye.
Okay, just a little wee update for you. As you can see, I am alive. I am still here and thunder is moored up. And uh, I must admit, I was getting a little bit worried there. <laughs> um, we came up around Acol. Acol moorings completely full, absolutely styled, no space whatsoever. Here, there is tons of spaces on the other side. There are a, a, a few spaces down on the free moorings. But we've only got two electricity posts just down there, you know, and uh, yeah, basically everybody's down there. So uh, yeah, however, we we're coming up and there was uh, this space between Spring Horizon 1 and San Remo and uh, yeah, it, it, I was a wee bit touch and go whether I was going to get the boat in there, but uh, yeah, I mean 44, she must be about a 50 foot gap. So, and I'm 45 foot, that leaves 5 feet either side, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, basically I, I swung in, no problems whatsoever. I did have a wee tap of San Remo, um, I'll put my hand up, I did tap it with my back end, primarily because I was down there and uh, I couldn't see the back end, I should have gone up top, but uh, I was down there, I couldn't see the back end. The wind caught me because it was quite a stiff breeze coming down that river. And yeah, it just pushed me into San Remo. Um, so yeah, thankfully nobody's on there, otherwise I would have actually apologised to them. But uh, yeah, uh, no damage, no damage. Like I say, it was just a wee tap. But uh, not to worry, not to worry. Uh, but yeah, that's us, us, us here at Acol. The sun is out, that breeze is very welcome keeping it nice and cool and out and uh, I am plugged into electricity so uh, crewmate is very happy about that so yeah uh, so yeah that's the that's it you know now obviously I will say this is the end of day five of Thunder Tales um, however considering what's going to be happening later tonight um, I won't be surprised if I don't come back and say a few words um, whether they are at Acol during the night or maybe after a few back on the boat I don't know but just in case just in case I don't uh, I will say this is the end of day five I hope you've enjoyed it okay the weather was a bit miserable we didn't get much footage uh, uh, when we were leaving Lorden but uh, after we crossed Great Yarmouth the sun, the, the rain went away, the sun came out, and oh my goodness, oh, getting a wee bit warm now, you know, like properly hot, you know, so yeah, uh, it's turning into a lovely, lovely day, you know, and like I say, thankfully that breeze is helping you to keep cool, you know? so uh, I hope you've enjoyed the day, if I am not back later, I will speak to you tomorrow at the, at day six, where we don't really know where we're going, we've got a couple of ideas, but we don't really know exactly uh, what will happen or how it will happen or whatever, you know. So uh, we'll just have to play it by ear. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go away. First mate is going to get ready. I'm going to go and get ready. And we're going to... Uh, uh, hold on a wee second, is that lightning? Hold on a wee second, I, I think I've just seen... Oh no, no, it's not, it's not, it's, uh, it's, sorry, I, th I thought I just saw my sister boat there, <laughs> lightning, but no, it's not, it's a Herbert Woods boat. Uh, but yes, I'm going to go away, first mate's going to go, go get ready, I'm going to get showered and changed and sorted, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll wait and see. So, if I don't speak to you later, I shall see you tomorrow, wherever that is, and uh, until then, I'll speak to you soon, so yeah, bye for now, cheers!